Alright, so for this project, you're gonna need some yarns. I'm using the Lanolon yarn, which I bought at Hunger Market in Baguio City. And uh, that this is a fingering weight kind of yarn. And I'll be using a 2.3 millimeter crochet hook or the number 3 hook. And then, of course, you're gonna need some yarn needle to leave in the ends. And of course, some pair of scissors to cut off the yarn once you finish. So now let's start with the project. Alright, so uh, the flower border that we're gonna make is in multiples of five. So when you work stitches in rounds, you usually remove the extra chains that you need when you're working in a row. So for this, I'll just make a slip knot first and then I'm going to chain. 40 which is in multiples of five so one two three so once you have 40 chains in total or any number that is in multiples of five will do this will make the size of the item you're making it for so say you want to make a phone pouch so all you need to do is keep on chaining in multiples of five and you should be able to wrap it around the size of the phone so as you can see make sure it's not too loose or not too tight but of course when you do the foundation chain you can always or just the size just make sure it's in multiples of five to make the flower pattern later so after that after slip stitching to form a ring make sure it's not twisted because otherwise you will have to repeat so once you slip stitched and this will count as the first stitch that we're gonna make for this round so one two three you're gonna chain three and then into the next stitch we work one double crochet so we're gonna be working one double crochet into every stitch around make sure that you will have a total number of 40 stitches or 40 double crochets including the chain 3 there which will count as one double crochet all right so now i'm into my very last stitch and then make sure that you have 40 double crochets in total and then you're gonna work a slip stitch on top of the third beginning chain so that is one two three and this is the top of the chain three so that is where we slip stitch so this is what it's going to look like yes it's open the bottom part is still open we're going to close it off later on after we work a few more rows so in the next row we're going to chain three this is going to be the repeating pattern so into the next stitch we're gonna work one double crochet so from here on we will just simply repeat this round one double crochet into each stitch and chain three there will count as our first stitch so that is a very simple this is a very simple project because we will only get to work double crochets or one double crochet into every stitch around so this is what it's going to look look like after working or repeating row two so i did one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen rows and uh, you can check whether the height is enough and since i'm going to make the flower border around here and I'm gonna make this pouch 
where the phone is a bit exposed after repeating round two every time you close the round you're going to work a slip stitch on top of the third beginning chain so that's how you close off every round now if you're going to check this is the trace of where we start and end the round so it's best if we're going to fold it this way so that the traces of join will be on this side and it will be invisible in the eye when you take a look on the front or on the back so you can choose which one you want either back or front it's just the same so that that's what you can do so that you will not see those traces now the next step is we're going to start the flower border so you can either use the same color for the flower or if you want you can use a different color of yarn so in this case I'm going to uh, just chain one and cut off the yarn because I want to use a different color for my flower border so that's what you do to secure the end you chain one after you slip stitch all right so I'm going to make a slip knot first so make sure you're still using the same size of yarn or crochet hook and then I'm gonna be working on this side so it's your choice you can either work on the other side or on this side and then after that we're going to make a slip stitch and we're going to chain three which will be the first double crochet that we're going to make to start the round so this counts as our first double crochet and then we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches one two and three so we have four individual double crochets and then in the next stitch that is where we're going to work an increase or two double crochets so whenever we make a flower we will have two double crochets and this one will make the ring for our flower so the next step is we're going to chain two and then we're going to work two double crochets and then we're going to chain two and slip stitch into that double crochet so we make the first petal we're going to just repeat that chain two two double crochets and then chain two slip stitch into the double crochet so we now have two petals we'll make three more so this will get us to the other side of the two double crochets that we have so we're, go we're going to repeat by chaining two into the next double crochet we're going to work two double crochets we're going to chain two and work a slip stitch so we now have three we're going to chain two two double crochets chain two and then slip stitch into that second double crochet so now we have four petals in total we're actually going to work one more so we're gonna chain two and then into that space we're gonna work two double crochets and then chain two 
and then slip stitch. So we made a flower. Now the next step is we're going to work a double crochet into the very next stitch. So make sure you don't skip a stitch there. So the very next stitch we're going to work a double crochet and make sure you have one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. So the repeating pattern is that you should have four individual stitches and then that's when you start working the next flower by working two double crochets into the fifth stitch around. That's why we have multiples of five to make the flower pattern. That way it's equal. So by the time that you get back around, you'll have an, a sequence of one flower and then four individual stitches in between. So we're just going to repeat that by working two double crochets and chain two and then you're gonna work a slip stitch. So just keep repeating that until you get back around. So once you get to the uh, very last stitch, so that is where you should make your last flower. Alright, so this is what it looks like after you've worked one single crochet into both stitches to make the bottom part and make sure that the flowers line up so that when you flip it, so we're going to check first to see how the stitches are to make sure it's looking good. So this is what it's going to look like if you work single crochets in a row and then going to look 
like this. Make sure that the join is on this side so it will look invisible and you won't see the traces of join which is on this other side here. Once that's okay, we can now flip it and cut off the yarn and then weave in the end. Alright, so this is what it looks like after we have finished weaving in the ends and then flipping it on the right side. So we have made 8 flowers if you're gonna make 40 chains. And I really made it this way, exposing a little bit of the phone in there. And I plan to add a strap on this two sides here. Alright, so the next step would be we're gonna make the uh, strap and so we're gonna need a strand of yarn this is still a figuring weight kind so after making a slip knot I'm going to just chain two one and two on the uh, second chain from Hulk I'm going to work just chain one and then go through two loops now when you turn it you're gonna see this loop over here so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through that once and then you go through two loops and then you're gonna turn and now you see two loops there so you're gonna go through that and go through one and then yarn over and pull through two and then turn and you're gonna see there two loops and then you go under those two loops yarn over and pull through those two yarn over and pull through two so you're gonna keep doing that until you get the length that you would like so this is called a Romanian cord. This is really great for making straps, wrist straps, because it doesn't stretch that much. And then you keep on turning and working under those two loops. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. So this is what it's looking like and as you can see it doesn't stretch that much. So if you're going to keep working that you're going to end up having this strap. And what I did is I sewed using the yarn needle I sewed it along this row along this side to attach. Now you have two options you can either add a deering or you can just sew it to attach the strap. So in here, I attached a long strap. And as you can see, it's sturdier compared to when you're just chaining and working single crochets in a row. So that's what you can do. And at, um, and also, one thing about this kind of strap is that it doesn't curl. It's more flowy than when you're doing the regular single crochets. And then, once you have that attached, you can add a loop and a button in here if you would like it to be secure. But uh, I'm skipping that because I think it looks prettier this way. You can use different colors if you would like to highlight the flower. You can turn this one into a horizontal bone pouch wherein it's gonna be crosswise, not vertical. And then add the flower. Make sure that uh, it's in multiples of five. 
So as you can see, I made four chains. So I have eight flowers around. This is what it looks like when you add the foam. My foam size is six by three inches. And you can adjust it to whatever size that you want. I just want this side showing. Anyway, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, do not forget to hit like, comment if you have other requests that you'd like to see on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Goodbye!